Let's go. Let's go. It's 4.45, so we've got to be quiet. But we're heading down to the lobby to get a taxi to head to the airport and try and get our flight that we were meant to get yesterday. <laughs> I hope we don't miss it this time. So check that all good. Next stop, Sweden. So here's the situation. Yesterday our bags stayed here at the airport. We weren't able to get them out in time. So they stayed here and they issued us the boarding pass for today's flight yesterday. So now we have to go and try and, I don't think we check in. I think we just go straight through to gate. Yeah. And hopefully our bag tag will take our bags to Sweden without us having to check that they're actually on the plane. <laughs> I think we just have to hope. In tomorrow's vlog, we go shopping for an entire new wardrobe. <laughs> All right, Stockholm, C38. I've recorded it for the vlog, so if it's wrong... <laughs> you have evidence. I, I seriously thought that was Photoshop when I saw it online, and it's actually a real thing. They've made it a tennis court on the helipad. 205 meters in the air. <laughs> this place is just next level. Okay, so we made it and we are actually at the right gate. <laughs> uh, the only thing is we don't know if our bags are here, so I think we'll find out in about 30 minutes mm. where our bags are. Well, either way, I'm getting on that plane, I don't care anymore. Yeah, next stop, Sweden. Thanks, we are in Sweden! The only question is, have our bags arrived? Oh, I'm so nervous. I really, really hope they have. Watch I'm out, watch out. Not sure, hey. As we were getting on the plane, our bags, which were obviously still in Dubai because we missed our flight yesterday, had not been scanned to be transferred onto our current plane. So we literally have no idea whether or not they made it. They told us it would take about 20 minutes, and we took off in like 25 minutes, and we have no confirmation. This is literally 50-50, we have no clue. I cannot deal with not having our luggage after like missing a flight as well. <laughs> I'll be honest, more than anything, I just need a clean pair of underpants. <laughs> I think I've just seen it. <laughs> We're literally just arriving at the baggage planet and we can see our bags. Well, hang on. That's it, mine for sure. There's a bag that looks like it could be yours. Yeah, that's, this, that's part of this capsule thing. Right. It is definitely it. Yes! <laughs> I think I've just seen my last one as well, so hopefully if this is true, it means we're all good and we can actually like change out of our clothes now. <laughs> This is a really cool place. Check the view. Look at this, we've got like a little wow. kind of garden. Oh my gosh, look, we've like a tiny little balcony and everything. Okay, this, this is, is so great. This is probably the coolest place I've ever been. Uh, and look, look, we can just sit here and have our little morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going 
this way? Yeah. So we changed clothes, we had a quick shower, and we've now come to the studio where uh, one of the composers, Sebastian, I think he works here, or this is his, it's either his house or his studio. This is like my wow, dream this place. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. This is great. Sorry we're late, by the way. Oh, that's fine. We, um, we missed our flight yesterday, and then we got in late today, so. Yeah, so you've been on airports. For yeah, I, I stopped playing, like, when I moved out home. Can you have a go at the xylophone, though? Uh, you, you can show me how to do it. Yeah. Oh. Now you. This is going <laughs> to sound so bad. Oh, it's beautiful. So how do you record this sort of thing? Just literally <laughs> mic it up. Yeah. So how does it work? Because some of your songs have really big production. Yeah. So are you doing all that other stuff with samples or are you getting other musicians and other people in? I don't get any musician in. I'm doing a lot of rock right now, so... Cool. Yeah. All recorded in here. Wow. So when, yeah. when you want to record drums, you do it in here? If I have to record drums uh, um, here, mm. I must do it really fast and really quiet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> really quiet. <laughs> Pee on bongos. This is... <gasps> Ooh. Pee and Sebastian special. Take one. Okay, wait, let me just see what they do. Got it? I can do that! <laughs> yeah. Like, just sorry for the music. Now you're showing up! <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Sebastian, would you hire Pia? Yeah, may maybe. <laughs> now you! Not everyone has to be. I don't think I'm very good on the bongos. Oh, well, you talk a big game. Very Let's good. make it really up tempo so yeah. it's super difficult. Oh, I feel funny. When you like editing, you start with the music. Always, yeah. I, so I didn't, we didn't know, we only started vlogging like nine months ago. Mm hmm. And I wasn't, well, neither of us were, have done editing before. So it was like nine months ago, we were using iMovie and it was quite difficult. Yeah. Um, but because my background is, is in music, I was like, okay, it's a lot easier if I put the music on the main timeline. Yeah. And then I put the key bits of the video where the key bits of the music are because my brain can comprehend that. Yeah, yeah. And then fill in the blanks afterwards. So I always, with every vlog, I make like a mini film clip like a music video mm -hmm. and then I chop that up okay. and then I put the vlog in between mm -hmm. so please keep making music yeah because <laughs> we're running out <laughs> wow that was so cool Thank you so much. Thank you. Really good to meet you. You too.